This is News Channel 12 at noon. Good afternoon, I'm Melissa Faith Payne. We have been seeing a lot of rain and thunderstorms in the metro, and it's not over yet. Storm Team 12 meteorologist Ken South joins us with more on what we can expect. A sign of the times? It may be. A new study reveals about half of all preschoolers are not taken outside to play by their parents every day. News Channel 12's Melissa Rainey has more on the implications in Medical Watch. Well, a three-year-old girl is recovering today after she is struck by a stray bullet in a drive-by shooting. Two others were injured in that shooting as well. It happened at around 1.30 this morning at Timber Ridge Townhomes on I-55 South on the frontage road near Savannah Street. Police say two men were sit sitting in a car when another car pulled up and opened fire. The men in the car jumped out and started running, being shot at the entire time. The 21-year-old was shot in the head and the 25-year-old was hit by shards of glass. The child was shot when a bullet went through the wall of one of the townhomes. Both the child and the 21-year-old are listed in stable condition. The third victim was treated and police and released. Please call Jackson Police if you know who is responsible for that shooting. An arrest is made after the body of a Pilahatchee woman is found in a shallow grave. 38-year-old Willie Washington Jr. is being held at, by the Rankin County authorities. He is a suspect in the murder of Teresa Jean Beale. Bill's family reported her missing Sunday. Later that day, her car was found burned out on a road near Highway 80. Investigators suspected foul play. Leads directed them to Andrew Chapel Road, just outside the city limits of Brandon. Rankin County crime scene investigators and officers with the State Bureau of Investigation were on the scene when our crew was there last night. That was News Channel 12's Ross Adams reporting. The governor has not said if or when he would call that special session. Now, emotions surrounding the charter school debate got so intense that one spectator at the Capitol reportedly attacked and tried to spit on a lawmaker. Democratic Representative Reese Dixon from Macon voted against the bill. We're told moments after the House Education Committee vote, a female member of the Tea Party who was upset about how she voted approached her in the hallway to speak with her. According to Dixon, the woman spat at her, allegedly touched her, and made a remark towards her. The representative tells us she reported that incident to House Speaker Philip Gunn.